You're not kidding. This hat is fucking sweaty. I warned you. You can burn those extensions, Jeez, sister. Please, please. I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna not. I'm just gonna keep this back. There we go. It would be great if the hair came with it. The mullet was like nasty. An extra, like little mullet on top of my hair. This is better than a hot cup of coffee, Dallas. This is how you start a supernatural convention with this one.
too old for this shit. It's gonna give me a heart attack. Is it the battery? Okay. <laughs> um, yes. My friend. Um, obviously. We're all friends here, okay? Let's get that straight right now. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's in their plans, but I do know, and when I say that, it means I think. Because I don't know shit. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of women this season. Again, I don't know, and I think that last season, you guys, or I think we all had a lot of, a lot more females than usual, and I think it's going to increase this season, but I, I don't know. I, I have not been pinned for an episode yet, but, oh, fuck it, they announced me at Comic-Con, so there's no going back.
way you're living your life and the way you maybe are affecting others. And he told me something, which is my favorite quote of all time, um, which is, don't let them tame you. And so I kind of live by that now. And there will be people who won't like you. And for me, sometimes I feel like that's, then I'm being my authentic self because I don't expect everybody to like this flavor, you know? I don't, I don't certainly, you know, necessarily love what everybody else is doing and they're not asking me to. So I think that the best advice I received was to just do you. Don't let them tame you. Be wild, be sunny, be bright, sometimes be a little too hot, and every once in a while you'll be really amazing people who won't mind wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Women are speaking out, and people are listening. That's never happened before. 
so many I love. Chelsea Handler right now kind of slays me. They're all kind of comedians, but I love female comedians because they just say it like it is. Like I said, they don't give a fuck. And they don't have to because that's kind of their brand. Um, Chelsea Handler, love Amy Schumer. Um, Lena Dunham, she's one smart cookie. Um, Amy Poehler, Tina Fey. Hold episode. 
seen Donna, one seen somebody else, shit. Um, <laughs> so a whole episode with Donna, where she's in every scene, where we see the stuff that happens from when we meet her. Um, I'll take it, I'll take it. Just kidding. Uh, when we meet her to when she becomes a hunter, but the scenes you don't see. Does that make sense? So when we meet her before Sam and Dean come to the police station, how does she get ready in the morning? Um, does, she, does she have a box of her ex-husband's things out? She cries, she's sad. Is she making the appointment for the fat spa? Is she giving one of her cohorts a shift or something? Is she going and drinking at the bar and singing karaoke? Like, I love that mundane shit. That is what characters are made of, right? So I would love to see kind of um, all, the, all the scenes that we never got to see of how Donna became a hunter. I think that would be cool. Thank you.
Lisa and I are actually fast friends from the musical theater world. And it was so funny when I saw, I mean, she was living in Toronto and I left to live in Vancouver. And I saw the, uh, the that beautiful trailer for her singing Odette. Um, and I just saw her and I messaged her. I was like, what the shit? Are you on this show now? She's like, yes! <laughs>
theater, because I, I went to theater school, and then I met people um, uh, through there. I met directors, and then they put me in shows. All you can do is try. All you can do is audition and try. But in, in between, if you have your short line to get auditions, um, read, read a lot of plays, go to a lot of plays, study a lot of stuff, watch old actors, watch old, like, inside the actor's studio where people talk about how they act, and just kind of take as much in as you can. I do that now even if I'm um, like in between work. I will just watch a show and go, okay, what would it feel like if I was that actor? Where would the camera be? Like, I actually think about that stuff because I'm so not used to working on camera. I have to physically think about where the camera would be when I watch other people acting on TV or film. But I would say play, just read plays um, and go see plays. And then just try to audition as much as you can. Because auditioning is still acting. And I try to remind myself of that every time I go to an audition. It's like, this is not hard or scary. This is an opportunity to do the thing that you love. So um, just try. Because if you don't try, you'll always wonder, right? That's it. Thank you. Good luck.
they, they're really fun and you can get kids coming to the shows and they want, uh, you know, to meet you after and I just thought that was so cute and adorable and that was really fun. Now the shows I like to watch are often shows that are not really pop, like commercially popular, like I love a uh, musical called Caroline or Change, which is a really kind of sad Stupid. musical. Um, I'm just, just learning Hamilton, believe it or not. <laughs>
That's right, Brianna. We're uh, just talking about what musicals we would want to be. Ooh. You ever done a musical? Yeah, yeah, I have. What musicals have you been in? Uh, Oliver. I was the Arthur Dodger. Oh, yes, yeah, so Love it. Um, Do you want to sing a little bit from it? I mean... So no, Brianna, we all know you're shy. Very shy, yes. But, even knowing that you're, are you going to get over it this weekend and show up at karaoke? You think you might be there this tonight for the game? Oh, wait a minute. Aren't you co-hosting karaoke tonight? We did something I thought was impossible. We replaced Matt Cohen with somebody hotter. We did. We did. And then, tomorrow night, when this band plays yeah. its Saturday Night Special, yeah. you're gonna hang backstage, you're gonna yeah. hang in the wing, you're not gonna come out. Hang back there drinking and high five everybody as they come out. No singing for you, nothing? No, no love for the microphone? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll sing a ditty or two. All She's right. Awesome. Awesome. She's got a stunning voice, this one right there. Okay. That one right there. But it, hey, do you want to know what Disney princess you are? I don't know. Please be Ariel. Please be Ariel. No, no. You won't even know who this is. Somebody from Brave. America. I'm who? America. I'm America? No, I am not. You're right. I am America. And if America's a princess, then so be it. I salute that princess. And by the way, thank you for defending that princess, all of you who work in the Air Forces. How do you know what Disney princess? How would one find out? One of my, one of my questions was, what Disney princess were the people on this band? Oh, what am I? Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> that one actually makes sense. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Brianna Buckmaster! Yeah.